They literally remind me of peanut butter rice crispy treats. There are so many reasons why our appetite might not be the same every day. Welcome to another what I eat in a day as a vegan runner video. So I'm trying a new recipe today. I'm a little bit skeptical because I saw it on Instagram and I don't know if you've tried Instagram recipes before. Some of them just don't work out. <laughs> Some of them are just like complete bullshit and I'm like how did you get that from doing that? It like makes no sense. So these are TVP cookies. I really love TVP because it's literally just dehydrated soy protein and it's just one uh, ingredient. So TVP, I typically cook it in like taco seasoning or some kind of like bouillon, like broth type of thing. And it'll basically be like ground beef. You can add cumin, like whatever spices you like or like I said, just like taco seasoning, but somebody made cookies out of it. And I Googled TVP cookies recipe just to validate what I saw. And it seems to be a thing. I kind of made up my own recipe because the other ones say like just add chocolate chips. So it's like a chocolate chip cookie, but I really like trail mix kind of oatmeal raisin style cookies so i have pepitas i have raisins i'm also going to use sesame seeds because you guys if you have never used sesame seeds in your granola or cookies or whatever it makes such a huge difference in the flavor it just gives it that Je ne sais quoi. i'm gonna put these seeds and raisins in the tvp cookies hopefully they come out looking good. <laughs> Hopefully they like stick together. That's kind of like the main thing. For me, there's definitely peanut butter and some mashed banana involved. So I think it's gonna work out. Like the TVP is gonna kind of act like oats. I'm making an Instagram reel out of it. I'm really doing the most here. Every time I try to like try a new recipe, I just try to make a reel out of it so that I can document it. <laughs> a baker but that does not stop me from trying i will try whatever wackadoodle recipe i do it every year around the holidays i get the bug for cooking and then i want to like make all these things that half the time they don't turn out well but 
it's all about the effort, right? I will say no matter how something turns out, I usually end up eating it anyway, just because I enjoy the ingredients that I choose to cook with. So I can always kind of make it work. Okay, these are so good. They literally remind me of peanut butter rice crispy treats because the TVP is like crunchy and then it has the peanut butter and the banana to like kind of hold it all together but they turned out so good i am definitely gonna be making these again want to talk about how this is more of an atypical day for me um the rice cakes at the beginning of the day were was like typical i'm still drinking as much water as i usually drink too um but i didn't sleep super well last night well my grandfather died yesterday so i'm okay but it's still like stressful like whenever that happens and i worry about my mom whose father it was and just like general family stuff. So my mind couldn't really shut off last night. I probably got like six good hours of sleep last night. And the reason I bring it up is not for like pity, but because there are so many reasons why our, our appetite might not be the same every day and why it might not be realistic to eat the same thing every day. Life really happens. You lose sleep, which can increase your cravings for carbs. It can just make you feel hungry because you miss the energy that you would have been getting from sleep. And you know, family members die. That's stressful too. It's important to remember that when those things happen, to not be so strict about what you eat. Food is so emotional, it is so cultural, and it is so intertwined with our lifestyles and what is realistic for us to make and consume. And sometimes if you're super stressed, you might not even want to eat. I just want to once again express that there are no two days of what I eat in a day are the same. Anyway, I feel like making these cookies really brought me joy today and allowed me to to nourish myself in a new way. I don't know, maybe maybe if you're grieving, making a new recipe will help uh, take your mind off of stuff. I hope that was coherent. <laughs> I'm gonna have my smoothie and I'm going to have a couple of the cookies and just have my gentle foods today and, and be nice to myself and maybe I'll eat another half of one of those bagels because they're really good. <laughs> I guess I've 